In this video, we'll look at multiplying radical expressions that are called conjugates. A conjugate is a radical expression where the terms are exactly the same, except one has an addition in the center and one has a subtraction in the center. You may recognize this sum and difference from your previous algebra experience. We have a shortcut that says rather than doing all the FOIL, we can multiply the first terms and we can multiply the last terms. This becomes a squared minus b squared, or a difference of squares. As usual, we will always be sure our final answer is reduced. Let's look at some examples where we can use this shortcut to save us some work on multiplying. Here we are multiplying two conjugates. Notice all the terms are the same in both binomials, except one has a plus, and one has a subtraction sign. In this case, we simply have to multiply the first terms, 4 times 4, to get 16, and the last terms, 2 root 7 times 2 root 7. 2 times 2 is negative 4, and under the square root, we have 49. We can take the square root of 49, which is 7. We could have also found this, because 49 is 7 squared, and divided the exponent by the index. We now have 16 minus 28, with no radicals remaining. 16 minus 28 is negative 12. Notice when we multiplied these conjugates together, we got an answer that had no radicals left in the expression. This property will be very useful to us on some future problems. In the meantime, let's try multiplying another set of conjugates together. Notice again, we have the same terms in both binomials. The only difference is one has a subtraction, and one has an addition in the middle of the binomial. Again, in this case of a sum and a difference, we only have to multiply the first two terms, 4 times 4 is 16, and inside the radical, 3 times 3 is 9, and the last two terms, negative 5 times 5 is negative 25, and root 6 times root 6, is root 36. Again, we can take the square roots of both the 9 and the 36. Square root of 9 is 3, and the square root of 36 is 6. Again, we could have found those using the prime factorizations as well. 9 is 3 squared, and 36 is 2 squared times 3 squared. Pulling those out and multiplying would still give us the 2 times the 3 and the 6. Multiplying what's left then, 16 times 3 is 48, minus 25 times 6 is 150. We can subtract those to get negative 102. Again, notice that when we multiplied these conjugates together, we ended up with an answer that had no radicals in the expression.